Hey Bill, it's Paul. Uh, just an update on this. I don't think you can do it, but I'll give you a few options depending on what you're doing. Um, I think when I said I've done it before, I did it on WooCommerce on a WordPress blog that, that you could just get an app that removed the um, address for digital products. I think, depending on your situation, if you're giving a free, if you're giving a product away free, that's where it's it's hard to do. If it's a paid one, there's probably an option to um, do it via PayPal and let them click a PayPal button. I'll show you what I mean. Uh, but I've gone through some forums and the base of these people here are saying I'm trying to give a free free digital download away and you're asking for billing addresses. Then the experts saying you can't do it. Um, and a few people are moaning. So I, I think at this point you're not going to be able to do it. So I'm guessing what you've done is you've, if you, you I think you've said they're using digital downloads, right? Uh, da -da -da -da. Digital downloads in Shopify, right? So that's obviously this app. Then you create an app, you create a product and go to more actions, add the file, right? So I'm guessing that you've done that. So obviously to get rid of shipping address, you tick, untick this box. Otherwise, you'll get um, the shipping address, asking for shipping address at checkout, which just uncheck that. I'm, I'm guessing that you've already done that as well. But if when you go to add to cart, if you add a PayPal option and you click PayPal, it'll just jump you in PayPal and, um, and, and check out for you. But you can't do that if it's free. So you can't, you can't give a, a free version away because PayPal will say what you're doing, you can't check out on PayPal on a zero price. But if you are charging for your download, then the PayPal button would just jump in, grab the information and check out. And then you may want to look at, if, if that's the only way you want them to check out, you might want to look at getting rid of the checkout button. But if you do, if they do click checkout, it will go to a page where the address, it's looking for the address before the PayPal option. Even if PayPal is your only option like it is here, um, it'll still ask for the address. Uh, here, look. It'll still go and ask for this information. So it isn't an answer to you. It is just saying that the, um, the option to make PayPal a button to make it a one-click stop rather than the information is an option and then get rid of the checkout button. But a lot of people are asking the same question and it just looks like they don't offer it as a feature. They seem to think taking billing information is a benefit to the store and a load of people are saying it's got no benefit at all. Um, obviously, if it then goes to process a card payment, you need the address. But uh, So at this time, it doesn't look like you're going to be able to... Um, you're going to be able to do it on um, on Shopify. As I say, I think when I said I'd done it before, I'd done it on WooCommerce on a WordPress blog. Uh, I'll keep my eye out. I'll keep. I'll maybe write. I'll maybe send a message to Shopify support to see what they say. But at this time, it's it's going to slow you down into. Um, hopefully, it doesn't cost you too many sales. But let me know if you're charging for something or if you're giving something away for free. Uh, I obviously on my website, I don't know what your site set up, but I use um, Teachable for my stuff. I don't know if I've got a, um, I mean, it's a digital download, isn't it? So what you could do is, for instance, have I got a PDF? Something like this thing can grow rich book. I click a, I'm already logged in, so it's going to jump me past the, uh, but it only, it only asks for, um, it only asks for email address and name on, on uh, enrollment. And then if you're paying something, it will ask for an address or to log in, but it depends how they want to pay. So, and then you can, you can show people like if your PDF document, then in a training course, you could do it that way. I would do it. You know, if I wanted to get uh, email captures for, you know, to build a list, I could, um, I could grab emails only and give away a free product or with teachable it's great if you wanted to charge something they take all the payments and then just pay the commission so you don't have to do anything back end on teachable i really like it for that especially if you're in the uk or wherever you are and you've got a mess about with taxes teachable take all the taxes so just give me some more information and we'll get you um 
we'll get you further down the line as to as to what can be achieved. Hope this helps. Cheers.